be with your government, with your health care, your education system, the stock exchange, the financial crisis, Ebola, wars, your sons and husbands being sent away to the other side of the world. Go kill somebody there. He's a danger to our freedom. I ask. Your God tells you to kill somebody because he thinks different. And when you do, in the name of the government, you make your God happy. Your God approves you killing someone else. And in the name of the government, we steal your money. And God approves stealing. Isn't that a bit strange God? Giving us rules to live by. And when people do things in the name of the government, God approves everything. Well, I'm not happy. With we all let our fool ourselves. We think in a lot of parts of the world that we live in a democracy. We have elections, we vote people we trust and they will behave in our interest. They will act in a way that is best for us because we choose them. Well, I don't know such politicians. The banking system was created keep us in debt, to keep the whole world in debt. And it's based on nothing. It's just thin air. And we accept that. And we accept it when our sons and husbands are being sent to war in the name of Whatever cause, we are brainwashed from our childhood on by TV, at school, in church. We believe everything. Are we so dumb? We believe that we are on top of the pyramid that we are very smart and that uh, there is no, nothing between us and God. Well, let me tell you something. There is a whole lot going on between us and God. The time to accept everything that they tell us and believe everything that they tell us is over. We are many and they are few. They have all the money and they keep us in fear and in hunger and in need and sick and in debt. It's a shame, it's a shame that we let that all happened. We have to see all of that. It's all a plan. ISIS, 9-11, Ebola, HIV, all the disease, cancers, 
energy problem, being dependent on oil, money, our sick making healthcare. It has to stop, it has to stop, but we have to do it all together. And the first step is not as frightening as you think. You just have to listen to your heart. In your heart you know what is true and what is right and what would you like someone else to do to you? Would you accept someone killing you? Of course not. So don't do that to another person. Would you like someone come to steal your house or your job? Or No, then don't do that to another. If we have plenty enough to eat, why shouldn't other peoples have enough to eat? If we feel safe, everybody should feel safe. If we can go to school, everybody must go to school. I mean, it isn't that hard. We only have to see that we are all guests on this planet and together we belong to this planet in this moment in time we have to do it together and we can make it good and pleasant and happy for everybody make or we can cause a lot of misery and suffering I want happiness for everybody and equality. But I can't do it alone. And you have to wake up. If you wake up with me and investigate and question everything your leaders tell you and question everything you see on the news, on, uh, on your telly and, uh, and what you read in the newspaper. And Try to find out if it's all part of the plan to control us and to keep us in fear. Maybe we can stop this whole thing. There is hope for us, but we have to do it together. We have to wake up and see what we let happen. We can't stop it. Are you with me? Are you with me? Damn it!